Alright, I had some questions about a Facebook post I put up the other day, so I'm doing a quick questions video about it. And because I'm recording on my phone, I wrote it down. Alright, I said, I'm done trying to warn people that don't want to hear. I'm not wasting time throwing pearls before swine. I'm going all in on building community. 100% his kingdom. Uh, I won't be perfect, but it's what I need to do. So let me explain what I meant by this by going through it one part of a time. I'm done trying to warn people that don't want to hear. Alright. In Ezekiel 33, and all the Bible references will be in the comment section. So, in Ezekiel 33, God tells Ezekiel that he's a watchman and explains what it is. So, for Ezekiel and other people whose jobs were watchmen, which is what I, my job was. Because everybody, God creates everybody to do a certain job. So... The job of a watchman is to look out and say, hey, look at these dangerous things that are coming. You need to get ready for them, and we need to do what we can to stop these bad things from happening. Now, God said that these watch that if a watchman doesn't or warns people and they don't listen, that's their own problem. If a watchman warns people and they do listen, everybody wins. If a watchman sees the bad things coming and chooses not to warn people... Well, then God will hold them responsible for what happens to the people they were supposed to warn. Now, I now no longer think that I'm a watch, supposed to be a watchman. I think God has a different job for me. And this other job will bring me to Jeremiah 29. But before that, I have to explain the exile. Alright, the Jews misbehaved, did some bad things, were warned about it over and over again chose to continue to do bad things for generations. So God, true to his promise, came in and took a third of all the Jewish people and took them to Babylon. Now a third were living in uh, Samaria. So you have the lower kingdom, the upper kingdom. He took a, half the lower kingdom, which is a third of the total Hebrew people. And while they were living in captivity, their kingdom's been destroyed. They have a vassal king sitting on David's throne. They think everything, they've lost. Everything's as worse as it's going to get. And that they're, basically their lives are over and God has forsaken them. Well, Jeremiah wrote them a letter. In Jeremiah 29 again. And he says, basically to summarize it, even though you're in exile, you're still important things you need to do. He says, build houses, plant gardens, have families, and uh, pray, and work for the city you now live in to be as good as possible. Because if the city's good, and you have a good family, your life will be good. And he also says that he wants, God wants the people of Israel that are in captivity to gain in population, not decrease. So that God's chosen people, at the end of their captivity, when they return back to Israel, will be a stronger, better people. And I feel that God is now wanting me to help people do that. To build a better community. So, that's why I said that my job is not to warn people of the dangers that are coming. They didn't listen. Dangers already happened. There's no point warning people of those dangers anymore. We're already in. This, what's going on, what I was warning people before, is what people have chosen to have happen and what's going on right now. So, I'm supposed to help the people that want to listen and want to become more prepared and want to build a better community, to build the community. And what did I mean by uh, his community? That's or his kingdom, that's Jesus' kingdom. Uh, and a good example I mean by that is Luke 17, where Jesus said that his kingdom is not of the earth. So, yes, I live in the country called the United States of America. But that's not the country I belong to. 
the country I primarily belong to is Jesus' kingdom. So, for, if you're a member of the kingdom, or you want to be a member of the kingdom, I'm going to try to help you and help you build, live the best life you possibly can and help uh, you connect with other people of Jesus' kingdom. If you're not part of the kingdom and want to be, I'll help you find your way in. And I'm not going to be perfect at doing this by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm going to do what I can, pray, and try my best. And I, when I pray, I'm not going to pray, God, I want to do this. I'm going to say, God, please help me do what you want done through me. And like I said, I'm flawed. I won't be perfect at it. If you guys have any questions or you guys want to know more about the kingdom or the community I'm building and want to be part of this, uh, hit me up in the comment section. Glad to help. Uh, it's a new venture for me. I'm still learning. But I'll help you where I can. And uh, like this is a journey. I even put in the tagline, using God's... Uh, are using God's gifts to build his kingdom. So help me on the, or I'd like to thank you for joining me on the journey to get to that goal and have a great day.